Here we are guys, welcome back. Hello. I'm off to the beach. Um, possibly on my own. Um, I think Wingman's got a bit of a MOT trouble in the car. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. And I am going to Bigbury Bay. Somewhere in Bigbury Bay. And I'm gonna be fishing for a Raymondo and a bass. So I've got some, I dug some worm yesterday myself, some luggage. So I've got some nice lug that I'm gonna throw out on a lighter rod. And I've got the usual, uh, I've got sand eel, I've got squid. Yes, very nice. And I've even got three fresh joey mackerel. And depending how the night goes, I might be slinging one of those out in close as well for a big bass. So yes, looking forward to it. 20 minutes to go, I'll see you there guys. So here we are, just waiting for the beach to uh, empty out a bit. Simple tactics tonight, went out for a Ray. Raymondo, one out for a bass, maybe another rod out as well. Extra long running pat on the big rod. 4-0 hook and a nice circle behind. And on the other rod, I have got my reggae reggae raster weight. Basic running ledger. 2-0 Kamazan and a small circle hook. Yes, we are here. Big Bree Bay. Very nice it is too. And soon it will all be mine. Well, apart from that guy there. So yeah, just waiting a bit longer now. And I'll be in there, man. Some lucky luck. Absolutely stunning evening. Back to back in an all out sand deal attack. There we go, first cast on the reggae reggae weight. A little micro bass. First cast, things are looking up. Absolutely stunning. And I caught a bass already.
come back in like that. Still pretty good, it's a good sign. Must be uh, predators out there, look, and not many crabs. Nice. Yeah, so I'm not wasting that bait. I'm going to leave those two on and add number three. Always check my hook. Sticky sharp. Rear gunner's there. Snip that off. There you go, just about 80 yard cast. Not too shabby. Here we go. Yep. Here we go guys, had a nice run on the ratchet there. Come on. Hey. There we are. There we go, there's number two. Hooked on the main hook there. Another small bass. Gave me a nice run actually. Yeah. On the worm. So here we are. Just waiting for another bite. I like to get here about preferably three hours after low because um, it's, it's a bit empty, it's quite a shallow beach. So yeah, a bit noisy tonight, big parties going on everywhere, it's holiday season. Lots of barbecues and yes, but I have got more or less the whole beach to myself. There's one guy up that way and the one guy that way went. I've had a couple of little schoolies. Uh, nothing on the big rod yet. So yeah, three hours after low to like an hour after high on the bass. I used to fish this, my old stomping grounds. 
used to do quite well here. I think my biggest bass here is about five pound to be fair. And that was on worm years ago. But I've had a big bullus here, 13 pound bullus on a single sand eel. Yes. You just never know with this place. Really nice evening. It's a bit of cricket going on behind me. So I've just um, brought the worm rod in and put another worm on that and it's gone back out. And yeah, my tripod's a bit low. I'm trying to be a bit conspicuous. I don't want it right up in the air. Oh look, it's a YouTuber. Uh, and then you've got kids around you for three hours. Yeah, so it's worth noting, guys, that um, this is pretty, pretty calm for bass fishing. It's more of a ray night. I wouldn't usually come here bass fishing on these conditions. And, you know, bass fishing is mostly about conditions when you're bait fishing anyway. Needs to be a nice southwest wind, preferably wet. And that's when I like fishing it. Also worth noting, there's several beaches around here you can fish, and I will be on all of them in the coming month. I'll be fishing all the beaches around here, mainly targeting bass. And yes, I've had a couple of a couple of little schoolies, you know, in bright sunshine, and it's uh, it's definitely bass o'clock now. Just going to give that bass rod a wind, keep it moving. Simple running ledger. Worm. <laughs> Just had to put my second hoodie on, guys. <laughs> Northwest wind. Biting in my neck. Yes! Gone a bit dead. Gone a bit dead. Crab doll.
just seen some bait fish getting smashed just, just in by the shore there. Yeah, I think it's mackerel or something, or mackerel bass. Mr. Lure Rod, catch me some fish. That should do the trick. Well, nothing on me for Chinko. Giving up with that. And I'm just about to give up with this. Getting really cold now. I've got a cold finger. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's just about dark now. And yeah, giving it what, four hours? Three or, three or four hours, something like that. I'll be back. Yeah, so thanks for watching my vlog today, guys. I was hoping for one more fish. Oh, there you go, guys. I promised you one more fish. Little scad. All right, mate. On the circle, look, look. Look, pinned in the lip. Perfect. Yeah, all right, mate. Well, this one's probably undersized, so I'm gonna try and get him back. Honest. Got some, got some go in him, hasn't he? That's the horse mackerel. And I've touched it, it's gonna die anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Conga bait. <laughs> Mr. Scad saved the night. Thanks for watching, guys.